Hi everyone and welcome back to Chronic Corner. Today is all about postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS. Now a lot of people don't know what POTS is. Um, having it myself has been a challenge trying to explain it to others so we thought we'd make a video telling the basics of POTS. So POTS is a type of dysautonomia which means it's a malfunctioning of your autonomic nervous system. POTS, in the most basic terms, means that you have low blood volume, especially when sitting upright and even more so when standing. People with POTS tend to pass out a lot, either instantly or very slowly. For me, it's like a drawn out passing out. I can feel it coming. I've never actually passed out because I've been able to catch it, but some people pass out instantly with no warning whatsoever. So what happens is when a person with POTS is standing, and in some cases sitting upright, depending on how severe your symptoms are, our blood does not circulate like a normal healthy person's. So it starts to pull in our legs, and our legs start to turn reddish purple because the blood is just not circulating back up. So your brain is sending signals to your heart, like it normally does to control your heart rate, that it needs to be pumping blood back up to your brain. So your heart, when a person with POTS is standing, is being told to beat faster and faster because the blood is pooling and it's not being sent back to your brain. So your heart rate skyrockets, your blood pressure just plummets, and you start to pass out, which is the main symptom. So if you sit in time, you can catch this, but for some people, there's no option. They just pass out all the time. Now your symptoms on having POTS can really vary. You can have very severe ones, you can have very functional symptoms, and any combination in between. Now the most common symptoms, not all of them, but majority of people who have POTS can experience orthostatic intolerance, low blood pressure, gastrointestinal issues, excessive or lack of sweating, fatigue, nausea, insomnia, joint pain, headaches, chest pain, poor circulation, brain fog, heart palpitations, pooling of blood in the legs and hands, temperature sensitivity, and easy dehydration. A lot of people with POTS have more severe symptoms when they're sitting up or standing, depending on the length of time too. I used to be able to stand for only four to five minutes, and now as I've gotten older, I can stand for an hour or two. Now the next day I'll have a lot of joint pain and just be exhausted, but it's gotten better over the years. For a lot of people, that's not the case. They can't stand for more than a minute without passing out and having no um, feelings beforehand. It's just instant. The other thing I've noticed is a lot of symptoms like to come and go instantly. I can be fine one minute and then have a splitting headache the next or be super nauseous and it came out of nowhere. And I think this is pretty common in POTS patients, but again, people's symptoms vary person to person. So hopefully this helped clear things up with the basics of POTS. Our next video is going to be all about the diagnosis, the treatments, and the causes. So please take a look at that. And for more information, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching.